input like you all can see is reserve 85 bound 2479 create 46 project duty 12 and there's a step-by-step -step process step 5 is the last step for the above arrangement right so step 5 here is the last step now what is step 5 14 reservish project ish 26 48 duty ish create ish 77 83 bound ish now if you compare this with the given input all the words have changed and so has the numbers right reserve i mean there's some similarity in words at least right reserve has become reservish bound has become boundish create has become createish project has become projectish and so on so one up, one observation is that we are like uh, during the process somewhere from step 1 to step 5 we are you know killing the last letter of the word and adding ish so you see reserve has become reservish again in bound you have killed d you have removed d and added ish so it become it becomes boundish then here e is removed it becomes ish createish and so on that's one thing look at the numbers again 14 26 48 77 83 but when you compare this with the numbers given in input not even a single number is common right 85 24 79 46 12 so 85 24 of course some closer numbers are available in the output like 85 has become 83 24 has become 26 79 has become 77 46 has become 48 12 has become 14 so both the words as well as the numbers are being changed in the process of rearrangement now let us understand the rearrangement process and also the uh, reasoning behind the changes there so look at step one what has happened in step one what has happened in step one 83 has come and so so what is the logic i think yeah before moving to step one let us try and understand the logic do you, do you find some logic here clearly the sequence of words and numbers is not in, a, in in any rhythm there usually we have all the numbers and, and words coming in alternate positions either starting with words or numbers or maybe the words are given in the beginning followed by numbers or vice versa and so on but here we have one number then two words then two numbers and two words two numbers and one word so it's not a very clear sequence right uh, uh, there's there's no rhythm in the uh, words and numbers there but if you if you compare if you look at only the numbers here 14 26 48 77 83 all these numbers have been arranged in ascending order right smallest first and increasing thereafter and then look at the words reservish project ish duty ish create ish bound ish all the words have been arranged in the reverse alphabetical order right r p d c b so one thing is very clear whatever be the sequence the words have to be in the reverse alphabetical order and numbers have to be in ascending order okay now go back to step one and see what has happened in step one if you compare and you know observe the changes let me just you know show you the changes when compared to input right what has happened in step one 85 and bound these two have been brought to the first position i mean see we are moving not one element we are moving two elements in each step so 85 and uh, bound have been brought to the first positions right first two positions everything else has been just moved aside reserve 24 79 create 46 project duty 12 and then when you have moved 85 and bound here 85 has been reduced by 2 it becomes 83 and like we have discussed in bound the word uh, the letter d has been removed and ish has been added here it becomes boundish right so that is the change so we are doing minus 2 on the number and adding ish to the uh, word there all right now look at step 2 what has happened in step 2 now this 83 and boundish have been moved inside before this we have brought a create and 79 create and 79 so creation 77 come here again in create e has been removed ish has been added in 79 2 has been removed to make it 77 now one point to be observed here is why are we how are we choosing these words and numbers why did we choose create and 79 only why not something else see observe look at the output keep the output in mind this is what was there in the output right i mean if you look at only the words the first two words that which have been moved these are boundish and creatish which will be coming towards the end of the output and look at the numbers 83 and 77 again see we are following that ascending order in reverse alphabetical order right so we always bring the elements towards the beginning of the step so that automatically things get move towards the end and fall in place right now one more observation here is when you had moved 85 and bound both were moved in the same sequence number first followed by word 
But when you move the second pair, in the second pair, we have taken the word first and number next. You are able to follow. In each step, a pair is being moved. In the first step, when the pair was moved, we had kept the number first followed by word. But in the second pair, when we have moved, we have brought the word first followed by number. So this again is alternating from step to step. Right? Look at what happens in next step. So, so far in step 2, 4 elements have been fixed. Create ish, 77, 83, bound ish. Now next, what do we want? See, what comes before create ish in, in terms of words? It should be uh, due ish. I mean, we are going by reverse alphabetical order. Remember the output in mind. And in terms of numbers, what should come? In terms of numbers, we have already taken 83 and 77. The next largest number here is 46. So 46 has to be moved. But then what did we do? 46 has been made 48. We have added 2. And duty has been moved. We have added ish. Again, remember, in the first pair, number first, word next. In the second pair, word first, number next. In the third pair, number first, word next. So we are like, again, like I said, alternating between this. All right. But this time for a change, we have added 2 to 46. In the previous two steps, 2 was subtracted. 85 minus 2, 79 minus 2, but now it is 46 plus 2. So we'll try and understand why this has happened, but let us just continue with the next step, right? In the first two steps, we have removed 2. Now we have added 2, right? So it was minus 2 here, minus 2 here, and plus 2 here. Look at the next step. So all these are fixed. Now you know what comes before this, right? Before 48, we need the next, uh, I mean, number, which is 24. I mean, we are going in the ascending order. From the reverse direction, it becomes descending order. So, 24. 24 has been added with 2. It becomes 26. And before uh, D, in the output, you can see we want project. So, that project has been moved. It has become projectation. So, this has come in the new piece. Again, what do we do? In the previous step, we had had the number first followed by word. Now, we have the word first followed by number. Right? So, look at the pairs. Always look at the pairs. Number, word, word, number. Number, word, word, number. Right? And in the last step again, the last two elements which are left out will be brought. Number first, followed by word. So that is the reason if you see the output, the step 5, we have discussed, right, there is no rhythm. There is no rhythm because we are alternating between words and numbers here, right. In step 1, word number, sorry, number word. In step 2, word number. In step 3, number word. In step 4, word number. In step 5, number word. In step 6 again, we will have word first, followed by number. But again, the question is, why is that some numbers are being added with 2 and others are being subtracted with 2? Like in, in, from step 4 to step 5 also, if you see, in step 4, 24 was made 26. In step 5, 12 was made 14. Now, simple observation is that if the number is odd, we are removing 2. We are subtracting 2, right? 85 minus 2, 79 minus 2. And the numbers are even, we are adding 2. 46 plus 2, 24 plus 2, 12 plus 2. Are able to follow. So there are like too many conditions here. If number is odd, subtract 2. If number is even, add 2. In each of the words, remove the last letter, add ish. In step 1, move the pair in such a way that the number comes first, followed by word. In step 2, move the pair in such a way that the word comes first, followed by number. And keep doing in, in that sequence. And finally, when you arrange, it should be in such a way that the numbers are all in ascending order and the words are in reverse alphabetical order. So if you follow all these conditions, you would get the desired output. Now, if a new input is given to us, we can just copy the same, uh, you know, process and get the required output. All right. Trust all of you have followed all the conditions here. I, I can show you the questions also, but like I said, without the input, there's no point in trying it. Like, like, for example, again, the same illustration has been given, but the input is missing, right? Usually a new input is given to us. One new input is given, and for that input, we have to answer the questions. So which step number would be the following output? One, two, three. I mean, this is the step here, which will be the following output. Well, I know we need an input for answering these questions, but this particular one can be answered even without the input. This question can be answered even without the input. The question is, what is the step number? What is the step number? Can anybody tell me what is the step number? It's very easy. Although the input is not given, looking at this step, you must be able to identify the number, the step number here. Quick. So see, we can answer the questions even when the question is incomplete. Anyone? 
can you tell me what is the step number although the input is not given just by looking at the given step can you tell me what step number could this be step number three right Vinay Kumar has got step three Ravi Kumar has got step three Vinay control your emotions I know you have got the answer as three please do not spam the chat box Prabha has got three Manasa has got three good and so has Neha, Patnaik, Saurabh Singh, Vaishnavi, Sri Vidya, right? Sagar, Shri, Sagar has got step 5. I don't know what made Sagar get step 5 here, but the right answer is step 3. Saurabh from Kolkata has got option, I mean step 4. But step 4 is also wrong. Step 3, step 3 is the correct answer. How do we know that? Just look, see, we very clearly understood that in each step, we will... You know, when you are moving the word, you will remove the last letter of the word and add ISH. Now, if you look at this step, how many ISHs do we find? One, two, and three. See, the other two words are proper, right? Quiet and shadow, which means this must be the third step. Yes or no? This should be step three because in three words, we find ISH. Energy-ish, order-ish, magic-ish, and so on. Hence, it is step three. We cannot do that based on the numbers because numbers you don't know. 43 was, I mean, I mean, was it like, of course, it must have been 45 only when you subtract 45, I mean, 2 from 45, you get 43, but then you cannot really work based on the numbers. It is just with the help of this ISH that you can answer the question. Okay. Of course, you can look at the sequence of numbers also there's another way of doing it like like if i see uh, 38 23 are out of sequence 43 66 95 are all in the uh, ascending order as desired but 38 23 fall out of that so three numbers are in ascending order so we can say it probably is a third step right but there is a risk involved when you go by numbers it could also be a case that the number was already in its correct position like assume that 43 was already in the right position. Well, usually again that would not happen when you are moving everything towards the extreme left or extreme right. But the point is, the easier way of arriving at the answer is to go by the words ISH. Alright. Let us see the other two questions. I am sure we cannot answer the other two questions without the input. But just throw a look at it. How many elements, words or numbers are there between uh, this order ish and 23 in step 1? So we need the input for that, right? Next question. Uh, what is the sum of the numbers which is at the left end and second from the right end in step 3? Now this is a new one, new type of question. He's asking us to find out the sum of the numbers which are at the left end and second from the right end in step 3. Of course, step 3 we know is given in question number 1. So you can probably find that out, right? The number at the left end and second from the right end. So second from the right end is 38. So answer should be 43 plus 38, which is uh, 81, right? He's asked us to find out the sum of the numbers which are at the left end and second from the right end. Or second from the right end could be this, sorry, 23. I'm sorry. I thought second number from the right end, but it is second from the right end, he says, right? So it could be 23. So go back now. 43 and 23, 66, right? See if 66 is there in the options. Yes, it is there. So we can say 66 is the answer to this one. Right? What is the sum of the numbers which is at the left end and second from the right end? So from the left end it was 43, second from the right end it was 23, sum should be 66. 